Hey families, we are so excited that you are going to take some time to lead your children in worship and discipleship. Over the next few minutes, we're going to help you through a virtual worship time. We have a few of our kids' worship songs with motions, followed by a short Bible video. From there, we hope you take your Jesus Storybook Bible and read the conversion of Saul as a family. Then you can work through the worksheet in the packet we sent you. We hope this becomes a fun and impactful 20 to 30 minutes for you and your family.
Today we're going to tell you a story about a man named Saul. Now Saul was still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord and went to the high priest. <laughs> My breath smells like murder. And Saul asked for letters from him to the synagogues at Damascus. Give me some letters so that I can go persecute those Christians. As Saul was traveling, it happened that he was approaching Damascus, and suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. And he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? And he responded, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city, and it will be told to you what you must do. Now for several days, Saul was with the disciples who were at Damascus, and immediately he began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogue, saying, He is the Son of God. He's the Son of God! All those hearing him continued to be amazed and were saying, Is this not he who in Jerusalem destroyed those who called on this name and who had come here for the purpose of bringing them bound before the chief priests? But Saul kept increasing in strength and confounding the Jews who lived at Damascus by proving that this Jesus is the Christ. He's the Christ! This Jesus! I saw him! I was advancing in Judaism beyond all of my countrymen and all of the people around me. But I was even more extremely zealous for the law than anyone else. But God, by His grace, He had set me apart even from my mother's womb. And He called me through His grace. And He was pleased to reveal His Son to me so that I might preach Him amongst the Gentiles. Haven't I commanded you? Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Be frightened, do not be dismayed. Be strong and courageous. Wherever you go, wherever you go